Yep. My plan involved getting up close and personal. I stood, scanned the forest one last time. I'd lie down, read, and the barest hint of white fabric peeked from behind one of the trees. Breath caught my throat, burning, as cold fingers of dread crawled down my spine. Okay, so there would be a confrontation after all. Adrenaline rode through my veins on a tide of urgency, and I knew there would be no talking myself into staying put. I grabbed the baseball bat I'd borrowed from Pops. I should have done this a long time ago, but I'd allowed fear and memories of what had happened after the crash to stop me. But I was smarter now, stronger. I'd survived my first day at a new school. I could brave the scary outdoors to discover what exactly haunted the forest. I'm sorry, but I have to break your rules, Dad, I whispered. The monster's hunger for your flesh, your organs, I heard him say. And for a moment, the past held me enthralled. If they see you, they will chase you. And if they catch you, they will devour you. How do you know? I remembered asking him. Not because I'd believed him, but because I'd hoped to trip him up and force him to see how wrong he was. Have you ever been chased? A few times. But they've never caught me. Well... If they've never caught you, how do you know they wanted to devour you? I could feel the evil in their intentions pulsing from their bodies. Dad, you can't... You can. But more than that, a few years ago, I found a book that tells all about them. And you believe everything this book says? Undoubtedly a work of fiction.